Hey everyone and welcome back. If you are new here then hello, my name is Zoe and this is my YouTube channel. Today's video is quite a quick tutorial. It's my brow routine for 2020 and I've been trying the soap brows technique for a few months now and I absolutely love it. I am a fluffy brow lover. I love big fluffy brows so this is my routine to achieve that look. So we're going to get straight into it today. I really hope you do enjoy today's video. If you want to see how to go from these brows to these brows then keep watching. So I like quite a big bushy fluffy brow anyway and I find the soap brows technique does help me get a really big bushy fluffy brow which is really long lasting as well. So for my soap I use the Pears soap and then I just use a little spoolie. If you've got like a brow pencil um, you can use the spoolie that comes on the end of that but I just use one of these because I keep it in the box with my soap. So to wet the surface you could just use water or a setting spray. So I use the PS Primer Water which is from Primark. So I'll literally just do a few spritzes on the top just to really wet the surface like that and then I will zoom you in and then you can see exactly what I'm doing. So now the surface is wet I'm just going to take my spoolie and rub it in so it creates like a paste and then that is what I'm going to start running through my eyebrows. So to start with I brush all the hairs up and you'll find that you need to go in and pick up a little more soap after. So just give them a good brush through with the soap at first. It's gonna look a little bit strange at first. I don't keep them like this, but I just like to start by brushing them all up. My brow hairs are so long as well. I could not just leave them like that. <laughs> so I've just picked up a little bit more. I'm gonna make sure I've got these on the very outer corner. And because mine are quite thick, I hold the spoolie down and I'll brush them up this way. This really presses them down. So that is what we're working with now. They are a little bit too um, straight and a little bit too pointed up for me. I do like to shape them round. So now I'll brush them through but slightly curl the ends. Just so they're not completely straight pointing upwards and you can use the very tip of the brush really helps just to curl them round. I'll just keep doing this until they are nice and flat and they are in the shape, the right shape that I want and then I can go around and fill in any sparse areas after. So I'll just wait for that to dry and then I will fill it in with a powder. Just to fill in those little sparse areas I'm going to use an angled brush and I'm going to use the eyeshadow out of this palette which I always use to do my makeup with. This I think is, that one right there, is a brow cake powder from Illamasqua. Um, sometimes I just use an eyeshadow. I don't have any brow powders but I am pretty sure that that one is a brow cake powder. So I use it just dry, just on its own. So just dip in my little angled brush and then just with a really light hand I'll just go across and just fill in any little sparse areas. I want you to be able to see as many individual brow hairs as you can so I don't want to just go in and fill this all in with a brow powder and I always fill in just the bottom really. I don't really do too much with the top because my brows are quite big and quite fluffy so I don't really need too much going on at the top. It's just mainly this outer section. It just gets a little bit sparse sometimes. And then just to neaten up the underneath, I'm just taking a tiny, tiny bit of concealer on a flat brush. I'm taking off most of the excess because obviously today I'm not really wearing any other makeup. But if I was going to be doing the rest of my makeup with eyeshadow and everything, I'd maybe do it a little bit more sort of prominent. So I'm just going to start from the inner corner. And I'm just using the lightest amount and then I can blend it down so you can't really see it at all. And just, just kind of neatens everything up, makes everything look just a little bit sharper. 
So that is how I do my soap brows. There's a big difference between the before and after, but I really love like a big brow. They stay put all day and they do not move. So I'm just gonna quickly do my other brow. So again, brushing all the way up and I give them a good brush up first just to get the soap on. Getting right in this inner corner, making them really sort of flat against my skin. And then just bringing the edges round just so they follow a nice shape. Okay, again, so taking that brow powder and just filling in any sparse areas, mainly on this outer section, going up with the brow hair. If you do have like quite thick brows, mine are thick, but in here it's like non-existent, you can probably just skip this step. Okay, then finally with the tiniest bit of Conceal it, just sharpening up underneath. Okay guys, so that is my brow routine for 2020, my big fluffy brow routine. So let me know if you did enjoy it. Let me know as well if you've tried soap brows before as well. And give it a big thumbs up if you do like it. And don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next week in my next one. Bye.